We are on Marlin Avenue, and uh, these homes consist of little ranches, little bungalows, a few uh, colonials. Most of them were built in the 1940s and 50s and 60s. There are a few homes that date back to the 20s, for example. Most of the properties uh, in this neighborhood are anywhere between approximately 800 square feet to about 1,000, 1,100 square feet uh, for the ranches and bungalows. And then you have some colonials that are slightly larger than that, 14, 15, 1,600 square feet. Um, here's one here that was built in the 1920s. And this one was built uh, right around 2000, 2005, I believe. But uh, you have some others that were built uh, newer as well, like these two colonials here. And those are all 16, 17, 1800 square feet. And then you've got your, um, you've got a by level, a couple by levels here. And you've got a couple bungalows here as well. These are all about a thousand square foot, 1950 built, that era, uh, bungalows. So we'll head over to the next block next. We're now on the second block of Marlin Avenue. Again, you've got a ranch, you've got a bungalow, you've got a newer colonial. That colonial is probably 16, 17, 1800 square feet. Uh, and then this home here was built in the 1920s, 1930s. Uh, a newer colonial, newer colonial. And then a smaller ranch that was built uh, 1950s, plus or minus 10 years. More ranches, more bungalows. And then here's a tri-level here. But this is what this neighborhood consists of. And uh, a lot of the homes have been updated over the last 10 years. New siding, new windows, things like that. New roof, uh, fresh paint. It's a well-kept neighborhood. Just one mile north of downtown Royal Oak. And that was one of the main attractions for me. Um, was the proximity to downtown. And then uh, Cody Park at the end of the street. I've sold quite a few of these houses. In fact, uh, just on this block, I've probably sold over 12 houses on this block. Uh, that was a newer one that was, I sold that one. That's a 1920s built home. And then they uh, built on that because it had an attached lot. So I represented the builder in that transaction. And I think this one was built in about the 1930s, 1929, 1930. So uh, that's the end of the second block. We are now on Dewey Street, and uh, here's a newer built home that was built, I think, right around 2000. Uh, nice brick home. But some of these other ones, like that one there, was built around 1930, and then you've got this gorgeous uh, colonial here that's a 1920s colonial. So we're on Dewey Street, just one mile north of downtown Royal Oak. Here's a ranch. Uh, I'm thinking that was built in the 40s or 50s. And then um, that property was added on to back in the 30s, 40s. There's a nice little ranch that was added on to. I sold that home years back. And uh, this home, this newer one, um, they tore that down. I think it was one of the first houses in the neighborhood that I sold that sat there before they built this uh, because it was pushed way back on the lot. But you see uh, updated siding, updated windows, fresh paint things like that so um, this was a neighborhood I found uh, very nice as a first neighborhood as a first home well kept and um, so we'll end up crossing over to the second block of Dewey here in just a second um, you've got some newer colonials here again approximately 17 1800 square feet colonials uh, that one there the blue one was built probably in the 1930s, somewhere around there. This uh, bungalow has been updated. This one's been repainted. New siding on this one, except uh, looks like the wind caught a piece of it and uh, tore it off. That's a unique home there. Uh, I know the guy that lives there now, but um, that's pushed back. So I think that was one of the first homes in the neighborhood. And we're on the second block of Dewey now. The other side of the street backs up to the cemetery, so you have quiet neighbors. That's kind of a joke, of course. 
but uh, nice little ranches here nice little colonials on this block um, and uh, some bungalows I've sold quite a few of these homes in fact I've sold approximately 50 uh, just within three blocks of here and uh, I can't say that I know of any other agent that has sold more than three in the same area there's a newer colonial or at least that was updated there's an older uh, bungalow 1920s uh, bungalow a smaller ranch with newer siding here smaller ranch with newer siding this home was blown out on the back I sold that many years ago as well that bungalow was blown out on the back uh, this is a newer colonial I'm thinking it was right around 2000 that was built smaller ranch nice new door nice uh, roof nice vinyl windows and then you've got this corner home with a uh, nice white picket fence and now we're on East 12 Mile. This is the two block stretch just east of Rochester Road. I've sold a lot of these homes on East 12 Mile as well. Uh, in fact, we're coming up to one, um, a lot that I sold a few years back. They're finally building on it. Uh, sold that gray house next door as well. And uh, that's gonna be a beauty, new construction. This is the two block stretch east of Rochester Road. And again, this is Central Royal Oak close to Cody Park, close to Red Run Golf Course, uh, just one mile north of downtown Royal Oak. And um, I've spent a lot of time in this area between 1989 and now. Here's just a few more uh, little bungalows. I've sold those to investors. Um, this one here, I sold to an investor and uh, he rents that out. And just a few more. There was a lady that uh, downsized years and years ago. She's still there, it looks like, in this nice white little ranch here. And then there's a newer one as well, built around 2000. I sold this one for the bank uh, right around 2008, 7, 8, 9, uh, during that foreclosure crisis. There's a newer home as well. Uh, now this is a 1920s bungalow. So that's it for the tour of Central Royal Oak.